Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching another video. So today we're going to be having a look at the Tech Lock by Blade Tech. Going to show you a couple different uses for it and how to set it up. And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase your own Tech Lock, make sure you check out the link in the description below. The way that the Tech Lock works is you have this grid of holes and you just match it up with whatever you got. So this is just a Kydex knife sheath. You match up the holes and you connect them with the hardware. Now you can use it for sheaths, you can use it for gun holsters. Basically, if there's a hole in it that you can reach to the back and match the patterns, you can use it to hook around whatever belt you got. All right, the first thing you gotta do to open up the tech lock is to undo this latch right here. And I know it doesn't look like much, but you got these lines here. You basically just dig your fingernail in here and the latch opens this way. And just make sure it's opened up all the way because there's nothing like undoing this and trying to open it when the latch is still closed. So make sure the latch is swung out of the way. The second thing we got to do to open up the tech lock is to squeeze these two tabs on the top. We got some serrations in here to give you grip. And the reason you got to squeeze them in is both of these sides have these hooks that are hooking into this top portion here. So you come up to the top. Just make sure that your fingers aren't going to the bottom and holding on that bottom part. You want to come up here, squeeze, and it opens up. Just a quick tip when you're trying to squeeze in these tabs to unlock the tech lock. A lot of times when the clip is new, it's still a little bit stiff, which is a great thing. But you don't have enough support and leverage when you're using the tips of your fingertips. So what I like to do is get into the second line on my pointer finger and knuckle it in like this. And normally your thumb will have enough support to get it out. So you just kind of grip onto it and it'll get enough support to undo it that way. And just so you have a visual reference to what the hooks look like, here they are on this side. And they hook in to this top portion right in here. And when you close it together, that's what it looks like. All right, when you open it up, you got your grid system on this side. This is where you're going to install your screws. On the other side, you got your belt shims. All right, with two of these installed, you get about an inch and a half. You take out one, you get about an inch and three quarters. You take out both, you get about two and a quarter inches. This is my Core Essentials one and a half inch gun belt. Check out the camo pattern on that. Oh man, that is so good looking. All right, remember we got the two belt shims in here. So the inch and a half should fit comfortably in here. Remember the curved portion that goes right along your body goes on the inside. So we'll do a quick test. Okay, that's going to fit nicely in there. And you want to make sure that you've got this latch out of the way because you don't want that to be down and trying to close it. So we'll get that out of the way. We'll seat it right in between the shims. And it should close up. All right. Locked in. And you just lock it in with the latch. And that's what it's going to look like on an inch and a half belt. We're going to fit an inch and three quarters belt in here. But to do that, we got to remove one of these shims. So you're just going to flip it over to the back. Push in like that. And it's going to pop out one of the sides. All right. When that's done, you just pull it out. And you're set to fit a bigger belt in there. So realistically, most of us, most of the time, are going to be using an inch and a half belt. But just to visually give you a reference as to the size difference between an inch and a half and an inch and three quarters. There you go. Pretty big difference. It's really hard to get these through some of the belt loops on your pants. So that's why most people are going to go with an inch and a half. But installation, same thing. Just do a quick test fit. All right, we removed one of the belt shims. Just close it up. Make sure this is out of the way. Close it up. And that's what this looks like on an inch and three quarters belt. Here are your three pieces of hardware. You got a Phillips screw here, rubber bushing here, and the female side for the Phillips screw there. And I don't think it matters what side you install in the grid. I would say just install whatever side is going to be easier for you to screw in because sometimes the other side is going to be a little bit more difficult to reach. All right, let's use this Kydex knife sheath to demonstrate how to line up the holes on a tech lock and install the hardware. Now I'm going for a horizontal draw, not vertical like this. And remember, this is going to be reversed because it's going to be sticking out this way. So this would be a right-handed pull that way. And I think these two holes are going to match up perfectly. Yeah, that's just about right. Let's get the hardware in. All right, I've seen the hardware installed in this many different ways. I've seen it with the Phillips head in like this. But I prefer to put the female side in here and then use the rubber washer to hold it in place on this side. Makes it a lot easier when installing. And there's the advantage of having the rubber washer installed. I don't have to worry about a screw falling out on the other side and the washers are held in place. So all I got to do is line up these two holes. 
like so and just drop in the screws all right i got those all snugged up now some people might not like the way that the phillips look like on the outside in which case you'll just flip it around and put it on the inside but i'm telling you guys right now this is a lot easier to install that way all right i'm going to make sure that this latch is out of the way i'm going to test fit the belt on the inside all right, that should fit good i'm going to close it up lock it down put the latch down and that's locked into place and now i have a really good horizontal side draw nice once again, guys, this has been the Tech Lock by Blade Tech. If you're trying to find a way to hook your knife or your gun holster up to your belt, this is a really flexible system. They have a ton of different adapters. They even have a molly rig where it's got those two bars you hook onto the molly, and then the molly hooks into these. Tons of different options. You can use them on knife sheaths. You can use them on gun holsters. If it's got a hole that matches their pattern, you're going to be able to attach it to a Tech Lock. Well, all right, guys, this is the ending of the video. Remember, if you want to purchase a tech lock from Blade Tech, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.